Here uh, we've got some spring like weather and while today was pretty pleasant, particularly this evening when the winds dropped off tomorrow, I'm going to go five on the Ramby factor scale. There is a chance we're going to get some showers, but not any kind of all day rain and nothing very heavy. So there'll be some time to work outside 64 and 43 well below average temperatures for today. Dry day, no precipitation. Of course, we had six tenths of an inch of moisture on Sunday evening, Sunday night and into Monday, but still the mulberry tree pollen is very high. If you've been suffering the last week or so, it's probably that mulberry tree pollen, it's been oak, it's been pine, no grass pollen, no weed pollen, air quality, it's in a good range. This is 370 72nd from our camera at the Cobalt Credit Union in Papillion. 55 now, light winds and dry air. Woo, skies stay clear. Temperatures drop pretty quickly. 46 now at the Harlan Airport. Look at the Atlantic Iowa airports down to 43. A few spots there in western Iowa could sneak into the low and mid 30s. I think we'll stay around 40 here in Omaha, but you got calm winds there in Plattsmouth, Fremont, Norfolk, five in Tacoma, three in Harlan. Here's live Super Doppler 7 radar. A little bit of ground clutter. The sky's still clear, but some high clouds coming in from the west. Central Nebraska, there's a little upper level disturbance in here, and as that moves eastward, brings us clouds, a couple of spotty showers for Wednesday, and maybe a scattered thunderstorm in the evening. Last night, big storms around Dallas. Tonight, still some pretty big storms, though the weakening a bit across southern Alabama, panhandle of Florida, and southwest Georgia. Here's the hourly planner. Chilly start, clouds around, spotty rain chances midday. Five o'clock, six o'clock, there could be a rumble of thunder with a shower or a thunder shower moving across the area. There's overnight high pressure keeping it clear through central Iowa and some of western Iowa. So the coldest temperatures there we will have some clouds by morning. Here are the showers approaching and then falling apart. And then these could be a little line of scattered showers and rumbles of thunder that come through. And you know, the atmosphere is kind of chilly, maybe even a little bit of small hail, something we'll watch for late day tomorrow. Then that moves by and tomorrow night a little bit of a north breeze, a few clouds and then high pressure settles in here for a coolish. But OK, Thursday tonight, the low temperature 39 at the airport, patchy frost in low spots and particularly the Nishnabotna Valley, Red Oak, Atlantic, Audubon. Some of those spots could be seeing some scattered frost, partial sun very early for sunrise, then some scattered showers at noontime. A few showers and even a couple of rumbles of thunder possible in the evening on Wednesday. Dry day Thursday, Friday, more clouds, but up to 70. Then you see the rain chances for the weekend, especially Saturday. Kind of looks like maybe just early Sunday and hopefully a little bit of late day sunshine for Sunday, which is Mother's Day. And Julie, let me be the first to wish you happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> it's very Anytime. nice of you. I'll be waiting for gifts. <laughs>